Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always a pleasure to have you back here on this platform. Thank you so much for trusting the voice of the Lord I hear. Thank you so much for believing in me and thank you so much for your support, your love. I always like to say this because I do not take it for granted. I really do appreciate your show of love and support for me and your belief in the anointing of God that is working over my life. Thank you for always coming back. And if this is the first time you're seeing me, the first time you decided to click on my channel, thank you. This is no coincidence, believe me. I do believe life is spiritual. I do believe before anything happened, it was already planned in the realms of the spirit. Spirit, and your obedience to touching this video was just another spiritual orchestration. It was just another move from the Holy Spirit to get us connected because He has a word for you through me. And my prayer always is that after this encounter, you are not just going to leave, you are going to stick around long enough to hear what God has for you through me, especially if this particular word is not for you. And if this word is for you, glory to God. You've just got to stick right here because God is still going to be telling you several things, giving you several instructions, edifying you, and so on through this platform. So don't forget to touch that subscribe button. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that each time there is a release of a fresh word, you will not miss out. And also we come on life once every day to pray and believe God for the things he has taught us and pray for its manifestation and rebuke the hand of the devil over our lives. You want to be notified each time we are live. So don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you do not miss out when we are live. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord says to someone, someone took a letter of authorization from the authorities to deal with you. They took a letter of authorization from the authorities to deal with you. But this is the beginning of their end. This is the beginning of their end. There are people who are very passionate about persecution. They are very passionate about, you know, ridiculing the children of God. They are very passionate about persecuting us. They are, they, I mean, they enjoy ridicul ridiculing us. They enjoy robbing the name of the Lord to the mud. They just enjoy. Now, I was just saying this. I'm just saying this right now. And God just reminded me of a scenario that happened. So about three years ago, something happened to a, a leader, a major spiritual leader, and there's this lady that took it really personal. She was the one going about sabotaging the spiritual leader, talking about him and making a mockery of his calling and everything because of a news they had. The news was not even founded. It was just, um, you know, when they tried to sabotage someone, the man, the, the, the man of God did not do what the people say they did but this particular girl i took notice of her because she she got very personal about it and she started you know um talking against the man of god posting pictures of him you know making a mockery of him and everything fast forward just barely one year down the line this lady gets to encounter this man of god one-on-one -on -one, and her life changes forever. She regret ever doing what she did. She feels so bad that she was in that position. And guess what? That man of God right now is her spiritual father that has led, led her to heights that have opened spiritual realms to her and have made her um, even gain heights, even in the business world. You know, and she regrets ever talking against him or sabotaging him or trying to ridicule him. God is saying someone has taken it 
it as their life's mission to stop you, to make sure that your Christianity is difficult, to make sure that it is difficult for you to serve God. They have made it their life's mission to stop you. But God says it is the beginning of their end. Something will happen to them and they will regret every day they ever made you go through pain, any day they ever made you feel bad. Remember what happened? Paul, he was first called Saul before his encounter and transformation. The Bible says in the book of um, Acts of the Apostle, chapter 9, let me read from the first verse. It says, Now Saul, still breathing threat and murder against the disciples of the Lord and relentless in his search for believers, went to the high priest and he asked for letters of authority from him to the synagogue to the synagogues at Damascus, so that it, if he found any men or women there belonging to the way to the way believers, followers of Jesus the Messiah, men and women alike, he would arrest them and bring them bound with chains to Jerusalem. Before his conversion, now you know that this is the time where um Saul got his conversion. Let me just read this verse 3 so you get it. As he traveled, he approached Damascus, and suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him, displaying the glory and the majesty of Christ. This is how Saul encountered Jesus and transformed from Saul to Paul. But he was he had already taken a letter, a letter from the high priest of authority to go ahead and persecute the Jews, to go ahead and catch anyone that is um, talking about Jesus, preaching the good news, and bring them in chains. But when he took that letter and made that move, it became the last time he ever persecuted Christians. And guess what? Paul is one of the most persecuted disciples of Jesus. He went through even what the disciples did not go through. Do you know why? Because he was a persecutor of the people of God. He was a persecutor. And so he went through worse things. He was chained. He was, I mean, he spent almost all his life in prison. All the letters he was writing to the Corinthians, to the Ephesians, to the people in Philippi, he was in jail. Why doing that? Why? Because he was a persecutor of Christ. And so when he gave his life to Christ, he was equally really persecuted. This is just to tell you that person that is making your life difficult, making your life almost impossible, making it difficult for you to serve God, be it in your place of work, be it in your home, wherever they find themselves. A day is coming when they made it their life's mission to persecute you. They already signed an unknown agreement to be persecuted as well. A day is coming. They will encounter Christ. They are going to turn from their ways and they are going to start seeking the Lord. When that day comes, they are going to know what it means to go through what they made you go through. They are going to experience all the pain and hardship they made you go through. And that is going to be their reward. The Bible says, as long as the earth remains, seek time and harvest. It's not just about planting physical seeds. No, but whatsoever you do is going to be done to you. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together. That is the law of life. Don't worry. Don't even think of praying about it or praying against them. They are going to encounter God and they will know what it means to be in your shoe. They will know what it means to be persecuted, to be lied about, to be, you know, uh, 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 how they call it, framed for nothing you did wrong. As for you, be of good cheer, be strong, because the Bible says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You shall overcome. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.